Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to do object detection using OpenCV Python and the model that we are going to use is faster RCNN. So the first thing that we need to do is import the basic stuff but before that we need to clone a github repository. So you can go in the description there is a link. So you can copy the git uh, the link from there. You have to copy the command the whole thing git clone and everything and then hit shift and enter. So this will, this will go this will go and clone the repository for you okay then you need to import certain libraries we have to import numpy as np you also need to import cv2 and lastly you need the google patch for showing the image so google.colab.patches import cv2 underscore show. okay so now if you open this over here you can see the folder has been downloaded so there is the file which is basically this file that will be going um, there is the doggo image that we will be using i think now you are familiar if i mean you if you are doing object detection for some time you are familiar with this image so there's a dog there's a bicycle and there is a truck and there are two files here this frozen inference graph this is the model and this is going to be our proto uh, txt so what we need to do is basically take these two files so uh, or rather before that let me do one more thing you go to the description and get this coco names okay so this is basically going to be our class names which we will be needing here so this is also there in the description so one this uh, command is there in the description the next this uh, file is there in the description not the file this uh, uh, list so you can go and copy that now what we need to do we need to define two variables so we are going to say weights and then we are going to give the path so we are going to give the path of this frozen inference okay and then we need to give the path of the config file basically so proto txt go over here and then copy it from here then copy path and paste it over here okay so once this is done you need to hit shift and enter so once this two is done we need to actually go and uh, define the model so our model is net we are going to say cv2.dnn dot read net so uh, we are going to say tensorflow from tensor tensorflow okay and then what we are going to do we are going to pass in the weights and config so one thing uh, that i have to make sure that i tell you is whenever we are using cnn for uh, uh, object detection you cannot fine tune it you can only do inference that is you have an image and then you are going to do the forward pass there is no fine tuning for that if you want to do fine tuning either use yolo or you have to use uh, or you have to learn tensorflow or pytorch i i have seen some unofficial apis for uh, all these things but again they are unofficial which means they are not tested and shouldn't be trusted <laughs> okay so i hit uh, tensorflow it's not there from okay from the f here has to be capital okay and hopefully this f is small yes so with that corrected now we need to do is we need to find the uh, we need to take the image so i'm going to say image i'm going to say cv2.im read and then over here we are going to go and get the doggo image copy path okay so this is there and then one, why why do we need it once obviously we need it for inference but we also need the height and weight a uh, height and width not height and weight height and width and then i don't need the channels i'm gonna say uh, i'm gonna say image dot shape okay so once i have the height and width of the image now what i'm going to do i'm going to do i'm going to make the blob so what is the blob blob is basically your uh, the image that has been converted into such a form so that now you can pass it to the uh, to the model so you will say cv2.dnn blob from image okay it was there blob from image and you need to pass in the image we need to say swap rb basically uh, opencv uses the bgr so you obviously know that an image is in the rgb format but cv2 uses the bgr format however when we are doing this we need to use it in the rgb format and for that we are passing a uh, swap rb equal to true okay so crop is false we don't need the cropping so i'm going to say i'm going to hit shift and enter now our blob is ready now what we can do is we need to set the input so we are going to say this set input and pass here the blob now what we need to do is we need to pass in the 
uh, forward function for that I'm just going to say boxes because this is what will have our output I'm going to say net dot forward net dot net dot forward and I'm going to pass here detections now I have already mentioned detection out final now I have already mentioned that we are actually using masked RCNN and uh, but masked RCNN is basically faster RCNN plus segmentation we don't need segmentation right now we will be doing it in the next or next to next video so we are only using the fast RCNN part faster RCNN part and that's why we are just giving detection out final okay so hit shift and enter so this will basically do your forward pass for the image and the boxes let's see what the boxes is so first I do the types I'll be looking at the type the type is a tuple fine what is the length of the tuple let's see length of the tuple is one okay so we need to get the first first now let's see what there is okay so obviously it looks like some uh, d type float it's still a tuple or something let me see okay so i'll go to the top basically okay so it looks like an array let me print the shape of the array and so we will know what there is okay it's one cross one cross hundred cross seven so you have so many ones so what you can do is you can basically squeeze it squeeze it okay and now I'm going to print it again so nothing much changes obviously from the looks part but definitely from the impl implementation part we have removed the extra axes so if you are familiar this 0 is for the image this 17 is for the class now what is the class I think you have already taken so 17 wherever the 17 comes so that is the class I'll be showing you in one minute for example this is one okay this is one now you can go on top and search what is one where one is bicycle okay so it is for the bicycle and if you remember the doggo image bicycle was there whatever so 17 is there one is there two is there 16 is there and seven is there but here you have the confidence you have 89.02 or 0 0.89 you have to multiply it by 100 so you'll get 89.20 here you have 87.50 here you have 85.85 so this is in the decreasing order and then from the fifth one it's all zero so but we will not be taking all so generally what I do is I take only uh, top three or top five here only five is there so I'll be taking top three but again it depends on what is the confidence that you will be taking okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to just uh, say it as output save it as output okay so now output was that the entire thing but one more thing that I'll sh just explain it to you right now only so that later we can directly use it if you look over here okay what are the extra values so if you look over here I explain this is for the image since we have only one image all the values are zero there are totally seven values in this line okay you see, uh, seven values how um, this zero is the first value the 17 is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth this is sixth and this is seventh okay this one is seventh so there are seven this is for the image this is for the class level okay this is the confidence till here I have explained so this one is x1 which is in the normalized format if you see this image x1 and y1 is the top left corner but uh, if you look over here this is in the normalized form so we have to convert it into the real form and this two is uh, x2 y2 so if you look in the image look into the image you will see the x2 y2 is the bottom right okay so for every row you you can see over here we have this so now what I'm going to do I'm going to open a um, let's say a loop okay so I'm going to open a loop or rather first I'm going to say uh, first I'm going to say I'm going to get the image so I'm going to image I'm going to the image going to get the image by cv 2im read and then I'm going to uh, go over here and get the doggo image so I'll go and copy path and then I'll paste it over here okay now what I'm going to do so for I in range final or output whatever is there okay out output dot shape of zero so output is our output dot shape is hundred comma seven it should come and output dot shape of zero is hundred so it will check for every box okay so it will see and the confidence is if you remember I'll print it over here for you so that you can see I'm going to oh not final my bad I'm going to print output okay 
so if you see the output let me go up so the second one was confidence oh, sorry third one so zero one two the second index or the third element so obviously indexing is from zero so the second index oh sorry uh -huh. the third um, thing or the index number two okay is the confidence so i'm going to say uh, i'm going to say output of i whichever the i is comma two why because that the second index second index we have the confidence okay now i'm going to say if conf is greater than let's say 0 0.8 so if the model is more than 80 percent sure what we are going to do is we are going to take x1 n comma y1 n comma x2 n comma y2 n so obviously we are talking about these four values okay so this one is x1 n x y1 n this one is x2 n and this is this one is y uh, this one is y2 n so what i'm going to say i'm going to say output output i'm going to say i and then from third one why because this was two this is from three and giving this colon means from three onwards okay so if you print it over here x1 n comma y1 n comma x2 n comma y2 n so if you print it over here not many will come only three will come you can see these values have come so 1.6 this this entire thing this entire these four values over here that we have we can see in the blue is this one okay similarly the second one is um so you, this second one is over here and the third one which is here you can see it out here okay so this is here now this the problem with this is this is in the normalized format i want to get it in the real format because we cannot print it otherwise so what i'm going to say i already have the height and width you can see from here i have the height and width so i'm going to do what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to say x1 which is x1 n normalized into width and since this will come again okay in width i'll show it in some time x1 n into height x2 n uh, x2 is equals to x2 n into width and lastly we have y2 is equals to y2 n into height but if you print it right now if you print x1 comma y1 comma x2 comma y2 you will still get decimal values but for the coordinates we need int so i'm going to say int and this will become int so i need to do it for the second one also over here i need to do it for the third one also i'm going to write int and then for the fourth one i'm going to say int and then finally i'm going to close it so now if i'm going to hit shift enter now you can see all the values are in uh, integer now what i need to do is i need to draw the bounding boxes so i'm going to say image or rather i'm going to say ig let's see what we've got we've got ig fine then i'm going to say cv2 dot rectangle okay rectangle for that i need to pass in uh, i need to pass in uh, the image then i need to pass in the top left coordinate so if you can see in the image the top left is x1 comma y1 so i'm going to say x1 comma y1 now i'm going to say uh, the bottom right and if you can see in the image it's x2 comma y2 so it's x2 x2 comma y2 i also need to pass the color and i'm going to pass the green color as always so 0 comma 255 comma 0 and the thickness i'm going to give it as 3 now i need the class names so i'm going to say class underscore name is equals to we have the coco names over here as you can see the coco names are coco names so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say coco names coco names and i have to give the index so how i will give the index if you remember this is our uh, label so this was basically output of i comma one but the problem here is this is in the decimal format and if you know the list always gets index in integer format so i have to convert it into int okay so let me go and first print it only so that we can see if we are doing the correct thing or not okay so as you can see dog bicycle and car which means we are doing the right thing now we have to print it on the image so i'm going to say ig is equals to cv2 dot put text okay now i'm going to um, i'm going to pass in I'm going to pass in ig 
I'm going to pass in class name because that's what we have got. Now where we are where we are going to keep it? I'm going to keep it on top of the box. As you can see in the image, the class name is on top of the box. So I'm going to write over here. I'm going to write over here um, x1 comma y1 minus 10. Why minus 10? Because obviously we want to keep it on top of the image. Okay. Now I have to pass the font, but I have not declared the font. So I'll go and declare the font. I'm going to write font is equals to cv2 capital font Hershey and then I'm going to write simplex okay I'm going to hit shift and enter now I need to give the font scale I'm going to give it 0.5 not too big going to the next line now I need to give the color so um, the color I'm going to give it is blue so 255 comma 0 comma 0 and then what I'm going to do I'm going to write 1 which is the thickness and then finally as usual line underscore AA I'm going to hit shift and enter so this has run now let's see what our output is so I'm going to say cv2 underscore imshow imshow and then I'm going to say ig and let's see what we have we have over here okay so as you can see we have got the dog and you can see the dog but it has been occluded by this bounding box but we can see the dog is there then there is the bicycle bounding box where you can see bicycle is written and then there is car and this is car Okay, so this is how you do it. All the code and uh, this uh, git is in the description. Uh, I hope you understood the video and bye.